Have you ever looked at your child tugging at their eye patch, frustrated or even embarrassed to wear it at school and thought there has to be something better by now to treat lazy eye? Or maybe you're an adult who was told years ago that nothing more could be done. And now between VR goggles, tablet games, and smart glasses, you're wondering, do any of these actually work and can they work for me? You're not alone. Amblyopia or lazy eye, which is a term I actually really hate, affects up to 3% of children and plenty of adults too. And yes, treatment options have come a long Long way. But as a pediatric ophthalmologist, I also know that not all treatments are created equal. Some are groundbreaking, some are gimmicks. And some of the best ones, they're still the ones we've used for decades. Hi, I'm Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified pediatric ophthalmologist and managing partner of Honolulu Eye Clinic. Over the past 18 years, I've treated thousands of children, and yes, even some adults, with amblyopia. Today, I wanna to walk you through what really works to treat lazy eye in 2025. We'll talk about the time-tested therapies, the new tech tools, and what the science actually says, because your child and you deserve treatment grounded in real evidence. So let's start with the basics. What is amblyopia? Amblyopia is a condition where one eye doesn't see as well as the other, not because of a problem with the eye itself, but because the brain isn't processing the images correctly. So maybe the eyes aren't aligned, a condition called strabismus, or maybe one eye is much more nearsighted or farsighted than the other, refractive amblyopia, or maybe something blocked the vision early on, like a congenital cataract or a lid droop, causing deprivational amblyopia. In all these cases, the brain decides it's easier to ignore the blurry image from the weaker eye. And over time, the connection just doesn't develop the way that it should. That's why it's so important to catch amblyopia early, ideally before age seven or eight. But even if it's caught later, that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. Patching is still classic and the gold standard. Let's talk about it. This is the treatment that most people know. You place an adhesive patch over the stronger eye so the brain is forced to use the weaker one. The number of hours a day depends on age and severity. Anywhere from two to six hours or more. We used to think that you had to wear the patch full time over eight to 10 hours a day to get any effect. But later studies actually showed that even just two to six hours a day is enough, even for severe amblyopia. And yes, it still works. The PEDIC studies, that's the Pediatric Eye Disease Investigator Group, they've repeatedly shown that patching significantly improves vision in amblyopic children, especially when it started young. So for mild amblyopia, that's when the vision in the worst eye is 20 over 40 or better, two hours a day is a great amount of time for patching treatment. For more dense amblyopia, which means the poorer seeing eye is really much more affected than the good eye, then the patch may be recommended up to six hours a day. But here's also what I see in clinic. Parents crying in frustration, kids refusing to wear their patch at school, a lot of tantrum, sibling jealousy that their sibling doesn't need to wear the patch, lost patches, rashes, stickiness, Patching is effective, but it's also really hard. And so compliance is a constant battle and no treatment works if the child refuses to do it. Parents will do sticker charts and bribery and rewards, but it's difficult. So then there developed an alternative to patching, which is the atropine eye drops. That's where this comes in. It's a medicated eye drop, which we place in the stronger eye. It temporarily blurs the eye, which encourages the brain to use the weaker one. The drop is usually given once a day, and the effect typically lasts about 24 to 48 hours in terms of the blurred vision effect, but the pupil can actually be dilated for even up to a week. So studies show it's just as effective as patching for moderate amblyopia, and it's often better tolerated because kids don't have to wear anything that's visible, so there's no social stigma. They can still go to school or play sports without being self-conscious. But atropine's not side effect free. It can cause light sensitivity or dilated pupils, which it often does. But in many families, it's a game changer. So it makes the vision blurred up close. So that's something to be known about because if the worst eye is the only seeing eye, that means that school performance can be affected as well because kids are only relying on the weaker eye. And unlike a patch, the drop cannot be titrated, meaning you can't have it take effect for two hours and then magically wear off. So depending upon the degree of amblyopia, the age of the child, their school needs, I might not recommend atropine for every single patient but it absolutely does work. So for young children with moderate amblyopia, I used to only offer either patching or atropine, depending on which one's gonna get done consistently. But now there are actually some exciting newer therapies on the horizon. There's the CureSight eye tracking treatment that kind of feels like screen time. And 
That is a home-based system and it lets kids treat their amblyopia while watching TV shows. So it kind of sounds too good to be true, but the research is actually pretty solid. So this is how it works. Your child wears these red, blue 3D glasses and watches video content through the CureSight platform. As they watch, the software uses eye tracking to monitor whether both eyes are aligned. It dynamically blurs the stronger eyes image based on where your child is looking, keeping the weaker eye in charge, which is exactly what we wanna do with amblyopia treatment. So this is binocular therapy. Both eyes are open, but the weaker eye is pushed to work harder. It's seamless, it's engaging, and the science is there to back it up. There was a randomized control trial published in JAMA Ophthalmology, and they found that CureSight was not inferior to patching for improving visual acuity and the compliance was better. So 91% of kids completed their therapy as directed compared to 83% in the patching group. And in the one year follow-up, the visual gain stuck even without continued treatment. So that doesn't mean that it's better than patching, but it wasn't worse than patching and kids were more compliant with it. So for families where patching creates daily conflict, CureSight offers a research-backed screen-based solution that kids can actually enjoy. Another really amazing technology is Luminopia. And this is a company that I have been on the ground with early on. It's a virtual reality headset that trains the brain. So it's honestly the first FDA approved virtual reality treatment program for amblyopia. And how it works is by something called visual degradation for binocular training. So it's not just this passive VR experience like with the headset. It uses this proprietary software to present different versions of the same video stream to each eye. And then the goal is to strengthen the weaker eye and then retrain the brain to process the two eyes together, this binocular visual input. So how does it do that? The stronger dominant eye receives a modified version of the video content. So you watch videos through the platform and there can be this blur filter and it kind of reduces the contrast of it as well. And sometimes it even masks portion of the image or randomly occludes it. And the purpose of this is to make it harder for the dominant eye, the better seeing eye, to fully interpret what it's seeing without shutting it off entirely like a patch does. So this is a major difference from older treatments that focused on really occluding the eye. The weaker eye receives a clear, unmodified version of the video, and this encourages the brain to begin prioritizing the weaker eye's input, something it may have suppressed for years. So by creating a dichoptic experience, that's when the, each eye receives a different stimulus, the brain's essentially forced to integrate both visual streams, and that's going to strengthen the binocular connections, and then later it's going to actually improve the visual acuity. Traditional amblyopia treatments like patching or atropine, they work by suppressing the strong eye to force use of the weaker one, but luminopia's approach is more cooperative, so it encourages binocular engagement, so that might actually improve depth perception and fusion, and it avoids completely depriving the stronger eye of vision. Also, it reduces the social sigma, since you know VR heads that's not visible to anybody else, you use it at home. And in clinical trials, Luminopia showed that there were significant improvements in visual acuity after just 12 weeks of use. They used it for an hour a day for five days a week. And the gains were actually comparable to patching, but again, with a much higher compliance, meaning kids were using it. And the improvements were maintained at follow-up even after stopping therapy. So you use it one hour a day, five days a week for several months. And I like that when I have a patient on this treatment, I can log in and see how compliant. It'll tell me 85% compliance, meaning they did it 85% of the time. And the other biggest benefit is that it's fun. So kids don't fight it. They get to watch the TV they want. It's a distance target, which means I'm not concerned about the near effects of screen time. And it's immersive. There's no patch, there's no drop. It's just goggles and cartoons and some reality-based shows for the adults. And it's supported by randomized clinical research. The main limitation is it's only FDA approved for ages four to seven years old. And so because of that, insurance might not cover it outside of that window. But I've had families who've struggled with months of trying to patch and finally saw success when they started using luminopia. And I've even had adult patients use luminopia and seen improvement in their vision 
and in their strabismus, their misalignment of their eyes. So I like that it uses both eyes together and doesn't penalize the eye. Now, let's talk about liquid crystal flicker glasses. This is one of the more exciting technologies on the horizon for amblyopia treatment. These glasses contain liquid crystal lenses and they alternate between clear and opaque several times per second. When one lens is transparent, the other is momentarily blocked. And this rapid alternating occlusion, typically at seven to 10 hertz, means only one eye sees clearly at a time. But the switching happens so quickly, it feels like you're seeing with both eyes. And the goal is to stimulate both eyes without fully shutting off the stronger one like we do with patching. So this encourages the brain to start using the weaker eye again while also promoting binocular vision and depth perception, which patching doesn't target. And so that's a key difference. So earlier studies have shown improvements in the visual acuity and stereo acuity, that's your ability to use your two eyes together to see the butterfly with the funny looking glasses. And many kids tolerate flicker glasses better than patches or eye drops. Plus, because they look like normal glasses, there's less social stigma, especially for school-aged kids. They're unfortunately still in the research phase here in the US, but the studies in Europe and in Asia have shown really promising results. So it's something I'm very excited to see brought to the US and for my patients. So I'm watching this space closely in my practice, especially for my patients who refuse both patching and drops and for whom the VR headset's just not an option. And then last, we can talk about tablet games. There is a game called Dig Rush and there's others that are developed for vision therapy. What they use is contrast manipulation so the stronger eye sees less and the weaker eye sees more, forcing both eyes to work together. This sounds really promising, and it is, but as an add-on. So pedic studies have found that these games don't improve vision on their own, as well as patching or atropine. So when used without supervision or structure, the results are just very inconsistent. So it's not something that I recommend just by itself or as a solo treatment. You could consider it as a bonus treatment, but definitely not as a replacement. They can help with motivation and they are great for older kids who are just really ready to be done with patching and who are already on a structured treatment plan. This might help motivate them to do both. What happens if you're not a kid? What if you're 16 or you're 26 or you're 36? Can you still improve your vision? Actually, yes. It's harder and the critical period of neuroplasticity, it's really strongest before the age eight, but we can already, we can get up to age 13 and make change in children's visual system. But the recent studies have even shown that adult brains are still capable of change. So I've seen adults improve with virtual reality with the Luminopia headset because that dichoptic training is just really so helpful. You're probably not gonna go from 20 over 200 to 2020, but you might go from 20 over 200 to 2080, or you might gain some depth perception. And for many people, that's a really meaningful difference. So what do I actually do? I typically will start with patching treatment for most children under eight, because that's still where we have the strongest evidence, but I do discuss luminopia with every single one of my patients because I think it's important to use the two eyes together. And especially if patching seems like it's going to create daily battles, if the child might need more stimulation or more motivation, I really like the VR headset. But especially for older kids and adults, I kind of will try to create a custom plan that balances their goals with what's realistically achievable because what I've learned is the best treatment is not just the one with the strongest research, it's honestly the one that your child is going to do. So let's recap. Patching and atropine are still the treatment options with the most evidence-based. Atropine tends to cause a lot of light sensitivity, patching has a social stigma, so they can be difficult for kids to wear. CureSight is a screen-based FDA authorized treatment with research proven results, and Luminopia offers an immersive VR treatment approved for kids ages four to seven. The flicker glasses and the iPad games show some promise, especially as adjuncts, but I wouldn't replace my current treatment regimens with them. And yes, adults can still make progress too. So if this helped you understand amblyopia treatment options better, give this video a like, subscribe, for weekly eye health content and drop a comment. Have you tried any of these treatments? I'd love to hear what's worked for your family. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Rupa Wong. I'll see you next week.